Hello guys, I am Shane Davis, 20 year comic book veteran. I'm here with another beautiful, lovely, sometimes she has been known to make this guy a sandwich, Jan Zeeland. Hi. And today is the day we're going to talk about, um, I don't know, Marvel editorial changes, changing art without really getting the artist approval. So here we go. So this was a bit of an interesting story. Yandi uh, ran up to flagpole today. She was like, have you seen this? And I'm like, no, what are you talking about? And I'm like, look, Marvel's uh, redrawing eyes. So first fill in everybody on this. So Greg Smolt here right now is working Tom King on a different book, but I guess this was another book that he has been working on as well. And he started this tweet saying, sad to say that without my approval, Marvel attempted to fix several panels of my art in issue two of Elektra, Black, White, and Blood. Seriously, why are people always naming their books now with the three colors, you know, like Superman, Red, White, and Blue, and all that stuff? Anyway, before sending it to the printers. They're not huge changes, but I really don't like my art being tampered with. So he posts an image here showing the panel difference. So this is original art. You can see this little young girl, Asian girl here, with very prominent irises. And the Marvel bullpen decided, well, no, that's not a correct way of depicting Asians. Let's give them more whites in their eyes. Long story short, two months after turning in the finished pages, I was informed by my editor that Marvel's standards and practices flagged my art and requested I redraw several panels so that they would be within tolerance for best representation of Asian characters. So you can see this is what they mean by best representation. Yeah, Make their eyes bigger, more hang whites. On one second. I don't understand what Marvel standards and practices department is. Like, I, I don't, I've never heard of that before. Maybe I mean, they was, made it after C.B. Sobolski with his whole fiasco. Pretending oh, my God. It. Seriously, oh. I mean, that must be it, right? No, no, we cannot have fake Asian representation anymore. We must have authentic Asian representation. And we'll do that by changing your artwork, first of all. Greg right. Small goes on to say, Wife and I were expecting our second child the following week, and I was raising the finish an issue of HT before the birth. So I told Marvel I didn't have time to make the changes. But we're perfectly fine with them pulling the story for sensitivity concerns, which is, you know, justified. You can see the eye here, there's a bit of a lower curve happening. Marvel decided, no, we need more whites again. Seriously, more whites. I, I'm sensing a pattern here. Hmm. I was told that pulling the story was not an option. And if I couldn't do revisions, the Marvel Wu-Pen would take a crack at my pages instead. I stated very clearly I didn't want anyone touching my art. So I dropped everything I was doing and immediately reworked all of the panels that were flagged. So hang on one second. When... You missed a big point there. Marvel said, well, can you do these changes? He's like, I don't feel like these changes need to be made. They're, you know, for whatever reason, artistic license. Uh, maybe it's trampling on his style. He felt whatever, unnecessary. And then Marvel's like, well, if you don't, we'll just take a crack at it because we have access to your files before they go to print. And that is a hostage negotiation. That is uh, yeah. an act of uh, terror there. They are holding a gun to this poor artist's artwork. And they're going to do what they want with it, with or without his permission. All right, I just need to point that out. Unfortunately, I just found out yesterday that folks at Marvel didn't even bother using my new art and instead went to print with their own revised pages. I was not given a chance to make further revisions or even approve the alterations made by the bullpen. They also attempted to cover up some nudity, which just resulted in a muddy mess. Again, something I was willing to fix. I'm not even sure you can really call this nudity at this point. I'm just seeing like the outline of two breasts. And then they decide you need to cover it up because, you know, remember breasts are bad. You cannot show women's breasts because it makes people without breasts feel belittled, I guess. Left out. Yeah. yeah. So Greg, he doesn't want this to go any further. He says, I've got a newborn, a three-year-old, and some tight deadlines to manage right now. So this is what I'm going to say on the matter. So Greg, it is all right for you to really actually say more about this because guess what? Artists should not have their work modified without their consent. And as an agent, I really have to say something about this modification done by the marble bullpen. So look at this. This is what Greg Small originally drew. You would say, oh, that's racist. It makes her eye look so small. Whereas the Marvel bullpen is so much more sensitive because they show that she has white in her eyes. So let's do a bit of actual science, actual biology. This eye over here is what people call a Caucasian eye. This is the eye you see most commonly shown in those how to draw books. You can see this part over here. This is the epicanthal of the eye, epicanthal fold. There is no fold in Caucasian eyes. So it makes Caucasian eyes look like they are more white in them. As a result, it makes the iris look smaller. But if you look at this, this eye here and this eye here are more, I would say most Asians have this kind of eye, where it is there is the epicanthal fold. So you can see there's this fold that comes down, which is missing in the Caucasian eye. As a result, it makes the Asian eye look smaller, but at the same time, it makes the iris look bigger. It's an optical illusion. 
So what Greg did here is actually correct. He made the iris look bigger, but Marvel is like, no, 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 no. It is racist to show them its small eyes. Let's give them Caucasian shaped eyes instead. Now look at the shape of this eye here. So and look at the shape of the eye they drew for hang, him. Hang on, let me just re get a good read on you here. So Marvel went through and white faced all these Asian people in this book. Seems like it because look at it. This is this is literally an Asian eye. Our irises look bigger just because of the epicandle fold. But Marvel said that's racist. So let's give everyone Caucasian eyes instead. More whites, they said. Mm -hmm. I don't know, honey. How do you feel about having artwork change like that so randomly, especially when it turns out to be a very racist change in the end? The fact that Marvel asked for a change, they said, well, if you don't do it, we're going to do it. And then after he did the changes, they didn't use them. That sounds like an editor was trying to virtue signal up in the office. So whatever this this uh, Marvel standards and practices department is probably trying to uh, meet their quota for the month. And they were always going to change it themselves. So they had their fingerprints on it so they could pull it up, say, look at what I did this month. I stopped this train accident. The woke. I stopped it because uh, I had this a similar situation, but not like this. Uh, DC Comics, I did a, uh, is it Tana cover? Um, it was a countdown cover. I drew off the reference. I had Mary Marvel and I came up with this awesome idea of her pulling Zantana out of a hat because she steals her magic. Beautiful idea. Awesome cover. Uh, very simple, very effective. I used a reference that DC was using for the character at the time which did have a vest and some boobs. No shirt, bow tie, classic outfit. A female editor at DC Comics, um, I, 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 I'm not going to look up her name. It doesn't matter. So she decides to, uh, I had another editor call me, and she's, he's like, before you get upset, they're editing your cover because she's acting offended because she um, represents women and your cover is offensive. So what then happened is they miscolored the cover, leaving the boobs there, but just colored in white, and it's less offensive. All all of a sudden, it's miscolored. Sure. And I, I said to my to the the editor, I said, you know, if you wanted this fix, you could have asked me, and I could have just drawn a line and a couple of buttons, and it would have been a shirt. And they said, uh, no need, we fixed it. But see, what I had heard from another editor within the office as this was a point of virtue signaling. And, and shortly thereafter, the editor, the female editor got a promotion at my wow. expense. And what I mean at my expense is there was a Bleeding Cool article about it saying that Shane Davis had to be edited for being too sexy. Wait. And see, that came at my expense when I could have easily changed it. And I'm not even so sure that something similar hasn't happened to this artist because the artist happens to be Caucasian. So if an Asian had drawn this, the same artwork. The question is, would Marvel had went through and redrawn the eyes? I don't know, dear. Remember nowadays they say that we Asians are white adjacent. We are like, you know, token whites. So at this point in time, they may even say, you could don't even know how to draw your own people correctly. You drew them to racist caricatures. We must draw them with more whites in the eyes. More whites! Well, I hope <laughs> I, the Marvel I, I Standards and Practices Department at um, Marvel Comics runs by and slaps a ball of rice right out of C.B. Sobolski's hands. I hope they, they, they fight the good fight. And uh, talking about the good fight, I want to let everybody know Shane Davis's Inglorious Rex comic book is at 247251 as we march forward. As we march forward to a quarter million dollars on my second Indiegogo campaign, this book is fire. I hope you check it out. Please also hit like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications as we bring you daily videos. And we will catch you again with another video. I'm show the whole world who I am. Boom, boom, boom. Major look, huh? Yeah, this one is for the books. All these chances I took, still. I move straight on these rooks now. Hold me up or hold me down, huh? Have my back or hold my crown. Either you with me or not. But you better give all you got, cause I break the game. Can't control me. I got the power.